Hey my lovelies! So right now I built the bed and then I was like I'm gonna give up. No I'm not! I'm not! If I have energy I have to use the energy because I don't know when I'm gonna have energy left. Next! So anytime I was just like oh, I'm gonna take everything out and then you know go and watch TV. I don't know get some eat some supper or something but then I'm like, well, it's, the weather is nice, I'm not tired, it's not cold. As you can see, I'm finally in like, I don't even have my long jones on anymore. So I thought like, why, why shouldn't you be with me in my thought process while I'm trying to build this kitchen? So if you want to watch me think out loud stay on if you think i'm stupid get out you don't you don't have to watch this it's free world and you can do exactly what you want to do as long as you're not harming anyone else okay so my thought process is we have this one let's mess her let's 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 measure this one that's 64 centimeters so let's use this one and see how do we want to have this one so i know the top of the one for the door here is this one is 60 centimeters so approximately so 64 it's going to be a little bit higher but I think I want that. Let's see how it works with my bed. Can I sit on my bed right now? I have too much stuff on my bed. Oh, God. Let's put this one up on here. And then this one down here somewhere. So if I'm sitting oh, in my mess on my bed here, destroying the box I'm sitting on I think 64 because I'm gonna have pull it pull out drawer so I get this over here so I think 64 is gonna be a good height because then 64 is gonna be the bottom and then you're gonna have a worktop on top of that uh, and depending on the th uh, the thickness of that worktop yeah so it's gonna be 65 or it's gonna be 66 or something like that depending I'm not gonna have a butcher block like I see many people do because a butcher block weighs a ton and I don't want to have a lot of weight in the back of my car I rather have the weight uh, for other things I'm gonna have in the car and not the furniture and all the furniture I'm gonna make the plan is to make it removable so when I build this one I probably gonna use this for sent the four millimeter plywood to box it in you know um, so I was thinking about doing the same as I've done here and just use some uh, some of these um, shelf wood thingies the glued wood shelf thingies and just make like this one and then top here and maybe one in the middle but yeah but then i have this one and i have this one so they are left over from another project i did what did i do because i cut them i cut them shorter what did I use them for? I don't remember. Oh, oh fuck! I used them for this one. For the ceiling! I used them to make... Um, I used them to make some something to hold this ceiling up. That's it. So if you see my ceiling video, you're gonna see them um, being used there. That's why I had to cut them. Okay, back to this one. So now we're gonna cut four one two three four 
in 64 centimeters length and then we need to measure what we're gonna have in the middle we need one on the top one in the bottom and then one in the top and one in the bottom and then so that's gonna be two pieces here and I'm not sure maybe I, I see if I can find some of this and put in the middle because it's much easier to have one piece that's just gonna be here and then it's just gonna go up like this and support everything because you can't what do you how are you gonna support this one you know it's not gonna be much support for anything so I rather have one piece like this in the middle and I probably have some leftovers that I can use for that but anyway let's keep going here cutting these okay, okay. which side is cut and which side is straight this one is probably straight this one is not if it was straight this is probably straighter dun, 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 dun. this one is not long enough to be two pieces as you can see here it's not long enough so this I can use for cutting the middle parts here This one can be in the back here or in the front to put this together but I don't think I need one in the top because that can be held together by the top piece the mantle the thingy I'm trying to avoid using too much thingies I just want to make it easy so I just unscrew it and screw it together and everything and so if it's wobbly it's wobbly it's not going to be wobbly if it has this piece keeping it together here then it has the piece in the middle with two in the front here and then you have these two like this so I'm, it's not going to be wobbly because you're going to have this frame here which is going to be screwed together with this one so it can't like slide back and forth like this uh it's not going to be like this so you don't need a like um a corner of stabilizer or in any way and then you're gonna have this one in the top in the middle and then you're gonna have one in the front that's connect these two to the middle and one in the bottom so they don't go like this um, and then maybe I'm gonna have several down because I'm gonna have drawers I don't think I'm gonna have doors. I don't wanna have doors and bend down and look inside. I wanna have drawers so I can get in from up here, you know, and pull it out and get into it, pull it out and get into it and see what I have there and just pick it up rather than like this. And then you maybe open and it just flushes out because it's been falling over. So I wanna have drawers, drawers. <laughs> Okay. Now we're going to cut and we're just going to cut it freehand. It's not going to do. Oh. The thing is, you don't need a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff. You just need to have the will and the want. And then you can do a lot of it on your own. And most of my projects are like this. I just do it freehand. Let's see here. So we have, oh wait, knives. If this knife is good. We need 
need need pieces like this. And then you just do like this. Let's put this one in here. that we can reuse for this one. Hey. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. I got a little oh my god. It works. Oh, this one. Here and here. I think I want it this way instead of this way. I think I just want it this way. Then we're gonna have 40, 40, 40, 40. This one gonna be 40 centimeters out. So from here somewhere, it's gonna be 40 centimeters out. So it's gonna build out this much. It's gonna be that's a lot. And then we have this is three and a half and three and a half and three and a half is seven. So forty minus seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty three centimeters. So we have to cut these into thirty three centimeters for it to fit in like this. and see if we can only thing with this one is that it gets a little bit loose use these pieces too or not they're kindle okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fasten these like this so if my measurement is right this is gonna be 40 let's see if it is 40 same time as a measure. Come on, please, just be helpful here. Oh, 
Oh. Use gloves. Just use gloves so you don't get like everywhere. We do a little bit of cleaning here. And perhaps it's easier. Because then we can lay the pieces down. We don't have to hold them up. This one in. Hey, there we go. Let's see. Oh my freaking god. It's a little bit over 30 centimeters. But that's okay. Um, ah, oh, I got well, something in my eye. You should use. You should use goggles, you should use gloves, and you should use a table or something and not just your legs or your hands because if you cut and, and then you can cut your whole arm off. Don't worry, I'm a professional. I've done this so many times. I'm like professional at doing it the way you shouldn't. To me, it's not because if I'm going to wait for to be able to get what I need for it to do it, I'm never gonna do it. So I just have to do it this way. Then we're gonna use the same screws that we used for the bend, and then gonna go in like this. So like this, and then it's gonna be screwed in like this from the end here one screw that's all we need isn't it i don't know so if we put this one like this and we can have this one in the other end just to keep it up that would be nice and we can pull over because i only have two hands and one of those hands have to hold When you're used to doing everything on your own, that's when you learn. Just, just figure it out, you know? There's so many ways to do stuff. You can... Oh, is it long enough? <gasps> it's not long enough. No despair, we have longer ones that fit the same bit. This is going to be long enough. And these, the one here. So as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, they have a little slit. Can you see that? Can it focus on it? No, probably not. It has a little slit in here and it means that you don't need to pre-drill. You can just put it in and it's going to drill itself. We might be unlucky and and this whole thing starts to crack open. I don't think so. This is soft wood, it's probably not gonna crack open. one down <laughs> one part of the frame let's do the other side
and when you hear that that's because I have it on this number here if I want it I can pull it up there and then it's gonna pull more I can also put it on high for it to pull more but I have it on low and then I have it on low and that's because I don't want it to pull too hard and then go too much in because then we're gonna have cracks but now we just have like this it works if it works it works you know that's the most important thing it works so don't you don't need to complicate everything it's not necessary complicated and makes a lot of things you just do it and then learn and then you can do it better next time and if you're a counterpunter watching this <laughs> sorry <laughs> So that's a little bit too little. We need a little bit stronger pull here. Oh, come on. Ah, this is not working. Okay, a little bit more pull. You can see here this one is not connecting because this is one that sinks in so but that's okay I don't really care and like I said if you're a carpenter watching this and your whole soul is now like oh my god what she's doing what is she doing oh my god I can't watch anymore she's botching my my profession I'm sorry I'm learning I'm sorry I didn't go to carpenter school. I'm sorry that you're not in my life and can do this for me so it's perfect. Doesn't nai? Nai? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's just my dog. He's gonna go yell at the neighbors because I think the neighbors have um, just finished her cabin and now all of her friends and family are coming to look at it so and my dog he thinks he owns the whole area and not just my garden so he wants to tell everyone that he's the boss but he's not doesn't because i'm the boss hey If you're uh -huh. okay, so if you're a carpenter lives in Norway and think that I'm butchering her projects you are more than welcome to come here and do them for me but don't sit on your high priest Ooh, like this is what happens if you would just have one screw but like I said I'm gonna put plywood on it so that's gonna frame this thing in so it's not gonna be wobbly and it's not been a twisting because that's gonna make that and there so yeah it's not perfect but i have a frame so this is going to be the frame for this side i guess what do you think it works maybe i put one over here but then again if i'm going to have shelves i'm going to have things that are going to be screwed in here and here um the slides for the drawers and they're gonna help do some more and i think i'm gonna have the mechanical 
slides and not just the pieces of wood that you're yeah I think I'm gonna have the mechanical slides so yeah let's make another other one of this this one This one and how how much was it? Thirty three, wasn't it? That's what I said. And look here, it's pretty perfectly forty, huh? And this one is thirty three. Oh. is almost done now we have two beautiful frames for the kitchen so we got the two ends for the kitchen so what I can do now is um, put this one on and cut around it but I am getting tired I now my my energy level is going pssst. so when I started my energy level was like ee, but now it's going down so I'm not gonna do anything more because I know if I keep going right now when my energy is low I am gonna do a lot of mistakes uh, one of the things I did it was almost tripping over the pulling thing on the back of the car and I'm feeling myself so I, I just need to get some food and then it's gonna I'm just gonna take the night so but I have done so much today building the frame for the bed and now also started the frame for the kitchen and then that's gonna make it so much easier so I have to see if I have some pieces that I can use for the top and some pieces that I can use for the end sides or if I'm just gonna do the ply I probably am just gonna do the plywood on the ends and then I have to see what I'm gonna use for for the top and what I'm gonna use well I know yeah I have I think I can use that one well I think they're playing music in the other cabin Anyway, uh, so I have an extra one like the one that we used here that I can use for help oh, for the top here and then I have this plywood that I can use for the ends and then I have one more of this that I can use for the middle piece 
so I think we're going to be good. And then I was thinking about, so I'm going to have the top and then under the top I'm going to have pull out like cutting boards on there. And I want for the end over there, I was thinking I'm going to have a drawer that I can pull out so I can sit and cook inside. But I'm also thinking about pulling it this way and how so I can pull it this and this way so I can pull it out of the out of that side door so I can pull it out of the kitchen and then out of that side door so I can stand on the outside and be cooking so I don't have to have all the fumes coming inside. So that's another part but I also maybe just gonna carry a ta table or something with me that I can use for cooking. I also want to have a deck so that I have a place that I can sunbathe or just get up and out of like not sleeping, not being on the ground. So yeah. But anyway, I feel like we have done a lot today just doing the frame for the bed and the, starting the frame for the kitchen so i'm happy with that and now i'm going to go inside because the neighbors are starting to be oh they're playing drums drums like you know the boom 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 okay i'm gonna say goodbye before i start talking about something else and uh i hope you enjoyed seeing how my brain works and how my process in building is and uh, maybe it helps you in some way that would be nice that would be the best part that's why i make these videos so someone like me could find the videos and go like oh i can do that i can i can build this actually this is not going to be too complicated for me <laughs> that's why i do it and tossen tossen Nai, hi, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, yeah, get out. But no, pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Ah. So he has some aggressive issues from being nervous and. I'm working on it. He's getting so much better. Today I could actually tell him no and he respected me instead of before if I was telling him no he was like oh don't tell me no I'm gonna so he's like okay when mom says no I have to respect that because it means she's really she's really meaning it it's not just nagging you know so I'll get teary I just 